Okay, so pretty much last video I said that was going to be the last one, but this actually is going to be the official last one. Um, I've got my air circulating, my weed growing blower up there set up, so I now have airflow in here. I got my Arbor Press set up on my bench. We just got a bunch of random stuff. And these weed blowers, I'm going to put out a video on how I did this, but these things are incredible output if you need to get air moving to your facility and now i bought these extremely large ones uh, that are eight inch that move uh 800 i think or a thousand i'm not sure what it is i know they were rated at like 2600 rpm and uh they work really well so that will uh that will help me out and then when we come in here um i did get my computer set up got all my monitors running um i got my got my computer in my cabinet the only thing i don't have is the seven webcams in here so actually i guess i did before i walked away there's one of them so i've got to get all my webcams set up but i've got my last dremel tool set set up and i've got this other drill stand set up i'm done with that um the only other issue is once I get the webcams and everything set up in this garage, I actually had to buy this pass load. Uh, got down in my crawl space, have a massive amount of moisture. I've got mold growing in my crawl space now. I have to address that and mount some crawl space fans and possibly break out a couple bricks on my foundation. And then also um, my roof is starting to sag. So with the roof, I was going to just wait until a storm came to... Uh, to repair it and then claim the insurance money on it but it's actually going to be cheaper so i don't have to worry about it is to get up in that attic and uh fix the problem so i'd rather spend eight hundred thousand dollars in lumber and support that roof and keep it from breaking than let it break and then not be able to live in my house if we get hit by more high winds and tornadoes here but never actually used one of these nailers this is Anyone that knows these nailers knows it. these puppies ain't cheap, but it's so dangerous up in my attic that I needed to be cordless, so I'm going to try to do it myself, but in my house, basically, there's the entrance, and then you can actually see, it's just an old house, it just, it's starting to, pit. I've got one, I've got one truss that's actually going to break, it's, it's, it's busted in half, but it's starting to bow down and sag so i've got to at least try to get up there and brace it. as long as i can brace it not fix it um shouldn't have any problems so never done it before but uh see what happens will not be filming that so uh stay tuned and once i get my house in order then it's game on on this shit so yep i'm out here keep watching subscribe and thank you very much amazingly i ain't put video videos out and couple months but my numbers keep going up so thank you all very much and uh more things to come so and gonna get into the dyson vacuum again i'm out of here